as you come to a comfortable seated position for a little bit of centering and breath work for yoga practice today, make sure that you have some props nearby, your blocks, straps, blankets. I'm sitting on a blanket here just to keep the sit bones elevated and the legs open a little bit more. So I want you to come to the edge. If you're using a prop, kind of come toward the edge of it so that you feel almost like you're going to drop off the edge. And that way you can kind of allow the hips to open a little bit more. We don't want the tail to rise up behind us. So let's just drop that tail back down that we're not tucking it. We're just keeping it heavy and the hip bones are level here rather than rocking forward. They're just in that neutral position. The tip of your pubic bone aiming toward the floor as well. And then just lifting up slightly through the front body, drawing shoulders down. So we're not trying to smash them down. Let's think about that as well. We're just, we're just noticing if they're kind of lifted up here by the ears and we're just going to relax them down. And then as you relax them down, just kind of squeeze a tiny bit in the upper back just to keep them pulled back and closing your eyes. So starting with your first big deep breath in and notice where the breath goes without much conscious effort. If it goes into the chest and the chest rises and the shoulders kind of lift up, I want you to now find that conscious awareness with your breath and let it drop a little deeper so that you're feeling as though you're filling up the lower lobes of your lungs. And then you're expanding all the way into the middle and low back. And exhale slowly. Start to find awareness of your physical body as well, not just your breath and how it moves in and out. But if your shoulders kind of come forward when you breathe in, I want you to keep them drawn back. And imagine that you're leaning back into a wall behind you. Softening the jaw, the face, even the tongue as it just rests in the mouth, relaxed. Letting the breath move in, slow, controlled, and find that back body breath so that as your diaphragm is contracting or pulling down and then it's filling full of air, you feel that expansion as it is also attached into the back. So I want you to feel that expansion into your back body and side body. And slowly exhale out. Finding awareness of your mind. Notice where it is at this moment. If you're still thinking about chores that you are doing before this practice or things that need to get done after this practice, just try to bring your awareness into the now, into the present. And thoughts are okay. All right, thoughts will come. Just acknowledge them and start to maybe even notice what those thoughts are and if they fall into any classification that you could kind of put a little label on like a file folder and just stick it in that file. Sitting up tall as though there's a string at the top of your head and it's lifting you up. And with that lift up and then that pressing of your sit bones down, start to notice if you find a little more awareness through the center of your body into your core. So we're activating core, but it's very gentle. As we're saying, lifted and tall. I want your hands just to float out by your sides. Eyes may remain closed. And then start to just lean slowly over to the right as your right fingertips just start to slide across the floor. Your left arm will eventually lift up or just float off the floor, but that's just because you're leaning. And that left sit bone, left hip is going to stay down. Come back up to center, slowly sliding back. You're going to feel your fingertips slide on the floor. Both hands, fingertips resting on the floor. And then with your next exhale, just sliding to the left. And eventually that right hand just naturally floats up as you slide over. Keeping your right sit bone, right hip pressed down. And then coming back up. Inhale. Exhale, sliding. Just imagine that you're sitting on a wall. If you have a wall nearby and you'd like to place yourself on it, you could use that as feedback. And then back up to center. 
Good. Each time we're going to try to go just a little bit further. Exhale, leaning into it. You can start to float the opposite arm up. Eventually you might reach overhead. And then bring it back down. The leverage of that arm coming down is going to help lift you back up. And then inhale, exhale, slide. At any point here, if you feel like you could lift that arm up and reach, finding a little deeper stretch there, down the side waist, even down into the lats and the traps and all the muscles there under the arm. Come back to center, inhale, let's take it one more time each side. Sit bones anchored, hips anchored, just reaching up and over. And then back up. Exhale slowly reaching inhale slowly coming up we'll place the left hand behind right arm comes to the front just to center and take a pause here so sit up very tall again that string at the crown of your head and with your exhale imagine you're just rotating around the waist so you're just rotating the waist and you're rotating like a spiral staircase up through your spine. So each vertebra just takes that little bit of turn, starting in your mid waist and all the way up. And then come back to center, inhale. Exhale as you rotate to the opposite direction. I want you to keep your hips fairly anchored and just think about the movement from your mid waist and then all the way up and be mindful that if you're kind of arching your back and lifting up, I want you to pull back in. So pull that rib cage so that it's in line with your hips and then find your spiral. And one more breath while you're here. And then back to center again. So as you move back into center, we'll lift the shoulders up and then roll them back. I want you to kind of lead with your elbows as you're rolling back. So kind of squeeze it when you pull back and notice how it feels. Hands are just soft, relaxed, pull back. Two more so shoulder circles, lift up and draw back. And last one, inhale, exhale back. And then just letting your fingertips rest out to the sides again, head falling from side to side. So take a pause, come back to center, inhale. Notice once again, if the shoulders are kind of creeping up, and we're not trying to forcefully push them down, but we're just relaxing them down and then pulling them slightly back. But the ears are gonna stay in line with the shoulders. So the shoulders, the head are all against a wall, imaginary wall behind you. And over to the other side, chin slightly down, making sure you're not kind of lifting the chin up as you're taking your head side to side. You're basically just in a little cervical nod, meaning like you're nodding your head here, yes? And then stopping at the down sweep. Okay, then we're gonna turn the head with that same alignment. Turn, look over the left shoulder. And then back to center and turn and look over the right shoulder. And back to center again. So from here, go ahead, hands to knees, lifting through the chest and slightly just shifting forward. Exhale, pull belly into spine and press back. Inhale, coming forward. Just some nice gentle rocking forward and back. Try to think of it like a wave through your spine. Okay, inhale, coming forward. Exhale, drawing back. As you come back to center, just switch the way the legs are crossed so you can take them out, shake them out. If you ever find that it's uncomfortable for you to sit cross-legged, just let the legs come out, keep a softly bent knee. So placing the opposite leg in front, sitting up tall, and we'll move through those side movements again. So sweeping the arm as you move over to the side, and reaching out as far as you can, slide that hand out. And inhale, coming up, straight arms here, reaching over, start to slide, and then palm flips in of the arm that lifts. 
So really both hands, when you get this far over, both hands are gonna be facing the floor. Okay, sliding over, anchoring sit bones and hips and reaching out of the hips. And then back up, inhale. Exhale, reaching. And then again, inhale, come up. Exhale, reaching over. And last one here. It's coming up. Exhale, over. Inhale, sweeping back into your twist. Now you can stay right here, hand to the front, hand to the back, fingertips to the floor, kind of push into them just a little bit. And then see if you could kind of, as you're pushing into the little fingertips or claw behind you, see if you could push into it a little bit more and as though you're kind of helping to pull yourself around. Not overpowering. And that left hand can stay here right in front or over onto the opposite leg. We're not overpowering the spine, but we can add a little assist here. So take another breath, inhale. Exhale, wring out the lungs a little deeper here. One more breath, you unwind slightly with the breath as you breathe in, and then exhale, like you're wringing out a dishcloth, and back around to center. Inhale, as you start to sweep around, exhale, rotating, inhale. Exhale, wring it out. Two more rounds of breath this way. So always feel free to kind of release a little on the inhale. Exhale, rotate. Last one, inhale. Exhale, rotate. And then back to center again. Let's come all the way right here, meeting, facing forward, sweeping the arms up and big circles back, keeping your rib cage pulled down. So I want you to watch here that we don't over arch and pull back. So there's a little arch right here. I want you to keep your ribs down, keep the spine in neutral, and then just rotate the shoulders to the biggest range of motion that you have for your body today. Each side may be even a little different. Okay, two more, big reach up, exhale down. Try to maintain that Dropping of your rib cage just slightly, hips in neutral. Last one, sweep out, hold it, and now pause. I want you to open up, pull back in between the shoulder blades. So soften up the arms a little bit so we're not pushing with our hands. I want you to push back like you're pulling first. Pull, pull the shoulder blades. Head is in line with the shoulders. And now bring them forward and give yourself a big hug. So stacking your elbows, stacking your hands like they're parallel here, and then just lift the elbows off of the chest and bring it back down. Still keeping those ribs drawn in, open, switch whichever arm is on top and bring it to the front, lift the elbows and bring it back down. Let's take them back out, open, squeeze the shoulder blades, and now bring that left arm across, all the way across as far as you can. And now bring your right arm forward, palm facing up, and just hook it with your elbow, the crease of your elbow, and pull it in. Head falls over to the right. And just feel the stretch there on your left side, dropping your shoulder down. So notice if you've kind of created this little bow on the left side of your waist, and drop the rib cage back down, drop the shoulder down, let the head fall. Come back to center. So open up again, deep breath. And we're gonna bring that right arm across. Bring the left arm under, palm is up, hook it with the elbow, pull it in tight, and drop that shoulder down as the head drops over to the left. Just toward the little fingers that are wiggling over here. Deep breath. Exhale it out, even out the rib cage. And then come back to center. Once again, open up, drop the hands down beside you, turn, look over the left shoulder and pause. And turn and look over the right shoulder and pause. 
as you come back, nose to center, imagine you're on that wall again. We're going to take the head over to the left, pause, and I want you to place your right hand up over the top, so just towards your opposite ear. So as you're holding on here, you don't have to actually hold the ear, but somewhere in that area, you're holding the side of your head or towards your temple with your left hand to right side. Now, <clears throat> as you are pushing against it, I want you to drop your right shoulder first. All right, so now you're going to push against your hand, and it's going to start to come up, but I want you to resist as hard as you can. So push and pull at the same time. You're going to continue to push and pull, push and pull, push and pull, push and pull until you get your head almost up to neutral again. And then as it gets up to neutral, we're going to release and let the head continue to fall. All right, so now we go to the other side. Place the hand across. Now you've got to put a lot of work into this. That bicep's going to really fire off, okay? So you're going to be pulling and then push. Push with your head, pull with your hand. You're going to continue that action until you can get your head almost all the way back up. And then when it gets up, let it go. Let's try that again, both sides. The hand goes across. So this is just a little more effective way. We're going to add tension in the muscle first. Okay, so really add tension, but don't just yank your head over. Pull a little bit, but then start to push against it as hard as you can until you get it back up and then release. And maybe we start to find a little more range of motion with that little bit of resistance and then release. So take it one more time. Inhale, exhale, push. Pushing as hard as you can. It's not gonna look like you're doing a lot, but you are. You might even feel a little shaking happening and then release. And now just let the head come forward and circle from front to side to side. And we'll take that last sweep here. And then eventually we're just going to meet right back at center. Head over the tail, back over the spine. All right, shrug it out a few times. You see how you're feeling in the upper body. And then we'll come over onto hands and knees. So we can take the, just keep your blocks handy. If you have a blanket that you'd like to use under the knees, go ahead and take that option here. All right, so from your tabletop position, hands underneath the shoulders, knees about hip distance. All right, so take a breath in and try to push down through your feet as well, tops of your feet pressing to the floor. Fingers are spread wide. And now with your exhale, without a big tuck of your tail, I want you to just pull your belly up into the spine as you exhale and try to push from front body to back body. And that's going to create your little bit of lift. And then keep the action that you've created, but let the spine drop back into neutral. Inhale. Feel that back body expansion. Exhale. Scoop your belly up and in a little deeper on the exhale and just push from front body to back body using only your abs to lift you up. Your glutes are soft. And then keep the action, but drop the spine, meaning your front body is still going to be working right here. Okay, deep breath. That's going to help force that breath into that back body a little more. Exhale. Push up, pull the shoulder blades apart, but without tucking your tail quite. I don't want you to squeeze your butt. All right, keep your glutes soft. And relax, but not all the way down. This is not completely cat-cow. We're not relaxing into cow or dog tilt. Okay, deep breath. Exhale, scoop the belly. Imagine you could draw your rib cage and your hip points closer together without squeezing your glutes. And then take one more here. Inhale. Exhale. Not overpowering with your glutes or your arms. It's really just your abs. Come back into neutral. And take a pause, taking your right hand at center. Actually, let me go ahead and have you grab a block. I want to lift up a little bit. So we're going to take a block right at center. It'll be basically underneath your, your chest or your nose, somewhere between that space. 
as we lift up, right hand goes to the floor, or goes to your block, and then lift up a little higher. So now we've lifted the whole torso up a bit. We've got that nice angle. Our shoulders are pulled back. Rib cage is still drawn down. We're gonna place the fingers behind the, the head. Okay, so if that's uncomfortable for you, you can also just kind of reach across your chest. But if you can take the hand behind the head, we're gonna pull that elbow out a bit, soften the right elbow so you're not locking. Deep breath. And then as you exhale, lift up taller and pull back. Keep the hips nice and steady. So we're gonna come back to center. I want you to grab that other block. This is kind of a work in progress here. We're gonna grab that other block and we're gonna squeeze the block between the inner thighs. That's gonna help kind of lock our pelvis down and keep that low back steady. Okay. So here we are, hand on block, squeezing the block between the inner thighs. Left hand to the back of your head. Inhale, exhale, lift up and rotate. Squeeze the block. Pull back, good, bring it back down. Inhale, exhale, lift, pull back, and then give me one more on that side. Inhale, exhale, and then bring it back to center, and we'll switch sides. So placing left hand on block, make sure you move it if you need to. So if dead center isn't right for you, go ahead and move it a little. Okay, so left hand on the block, right hand just behind the, the neck and the base of your skull. So we don't necessarily need it way up here, all the way behind your skull. All right, so deep breath, squeeze your block, get that back body breath, and then exhale, lift up and rotate, looking to the right. Push back with your head and bring it back down. So I want you to push your head into your fingers so that you're not pushing your head forward. Okay, bring that elbow out, pause, Lift up tall and then rotate. Pull back, squeeze the block, bring it back down. We're just getting a little more mobility in that thoracic spine, mid spine. Deep breath, exhale, pull back. And now releasing it down. All right, let's take the blocks, just set them off to the side. So taking the left hand, just kind of placing it right under the shoulder or maybe slightly towards center where you had it before, but this time on the mat. We're gonna take that right arm, sweep it up, pull back just like you have been. And we're gonna bring that right arm all the way under, thread the needle, dropping your head to the floor. So if this is not super comfortable for you, grab some pillows, give yourself a little lift. If you find there's not enough space from your shoulder to your hips, move yourself forward a little bit. It's okay. All right, we don't want the hips moving back toward the heels here. Not yet, not yet. Okay, press into your left hand. Palm is facing up on your right hand. I want you just to push the left side of your body back a little bit and shift your hips with you. So hips are staying in line. If you feel like you need to squeeze that block again, you could do that here. Push into that left hand a little more, but I don't want you to take your head with you. You're not trying to look at the ceiling. Just look at your right hand that's underneath you. Take another breath. Keep that left side waist nice and long. And now as you spin back toward the floor, reach your left hand up, lift up a bit and flip your head to the floor. Right arm is still underneath you. And here, if you want to start to slide back in something that looks a little bit more like a child's pose, press your hips back and let your weight just rest on top of this right arm, shoulder underneath you. Deep breath in as though you could breathe all the way into your low back, mid back, and in between your shoulders and exhale it out. Let's take two more breaths this way. Last breath. And slide the left hand back to lift up and then unwind, walk the hands forward again. And we'll do that on the other side. I'm just going to flip so that you can still see and hear me, hopefully. All right, so we'll take the right hand to the floor. Left hand is going to lift up, open up, pull back, and then just thread it underneath. 
Coming all the way down to the side of your shoulder, side of your head, onto your temple and your cheek. Okay, right hand can stay on the floor. Scoop the belly up a bit. Okay, so you're just kind of pulling your rib cage up really. And try to anchor through your feet. Inhale. Exhale, see if you can kind of push into your right hand a little bit and pull that right shoulder back, right hip pressing back. So meaning it's not going to shift over here, shortening your right side waist. I want that right side waist nice and long, just as equal as your left side waist. Take another breath. Last one. And then we're going to come back to center. Okay. Start to slide back, reach the right hip forward. Adjust as needed just to get into your child's pose. Knees can be wide. You're trying to let most of your weight just kind of rest on top of this arm if it is possible. So depending on how it feels for you. I want you to get that big full back body breath. Exhale it out. Let it become heavier as you exhale. Last full breath. We'll start to slide the right hand back, press into it, come up, <clears throat> and then reach both hands forward, big stretch back. And then as you come up, go ahead and grab your blocks here. I'm gonna flip again. <laughs> it's, it's a thing, I have to keep flipping so that we can see and I can get to my stuff. So I'm gonna grab blocks or a bolster. Now this is completely up to you, whatever you have available. Bolster, blanket, um, pillows, you know, you can use any household objects here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the blocks. I'm just gonna bring them end to end just cause it'll be a little bit easier for me to gauge where I'm going. All right, so once we're here, it's gonna look similar to that same child's pose, but we're gonna take, take the elbows onto the blocks first, and then I want you to sit back. So elbows can be on blocks or bolster, or again, it could even be something higher. All right, and from here, go ahead and bend your elbows. Your head may or, not, may or may not be resting on the blocks. I'm gonna let my head fall a little here. Just starting to stretch underneath the arms and into the lats, stretching those triceps, the back of your arms. So if you feel like you need something a little higher, you can stack blocks and or other household objects here just to get yourself up a little higher, but that may be a little narrow. Take about two more rounds of breath. Starting to slowly come back up, depending on where you have your props. I want you to just set one of the blocks off to the side. We're gonna work a little bit on getting this space underneath our armpit. We don't really focus on this much. And if you have a foam roller, I highly suggest getting that foam roller up under this area, especially into this, the last, the serratus anterior, this muscle that's our push pull muscle, right? Those are both push and pull muscles. Our push muscle is that serratus anterior. It has finger-like projections that wrap around and it affects your shoulder, all right? So if you're finding difficulty in movement in your upper body, it could be partially that serratus getting locked down. I know it is for me, all right? So this is, may not feel comfortable, so we're going to just do this together, all right? So through the discomfort, we will find freedom. <laughs> So I want you to bring it down. You're gonna aim that right here, right about maybe if you wear a bra, it would be about the bra line, otherwise you can kind of imagine. All right, so right there on the rib cage, and we're just gonna rest over it. Now you can let your head just rest here on your hand, or you can rest all the way down, depending on how it feels for you. Okay, that's where we're gonna start. I want you to take deep breaths. So I'm just staggering the legs here. I'm gonna take a deep breath, Kind of direct the breath toward that block and then exhale it out. Again. Now you can also take that top arm and reach it over just like you did earlier when we were doing our side stretch. And your last option 
would be to release your head and let it fall to your bicep. If that range of motion isn't there today, just, just hold your head or use a pillow or a rolled up towel under your head. I want you to breathe in deeply, exhale it out, let your weight really rest on that block. So if this was a foam roller, and then if it was round instead of a rectangle, we could kind of gently roll forward and back on it. Okay, so that's something I want you to think about if you have that option. Let's take another breath. And then go ahead and bring that top arm back up if it's resting over your head. Press into the floor gently to come up. We're going to flip it to the other side. So I'm just going to flip this way. You can just roll over if you like. <clears throat> and you may find there's gremlins under one side and not the other so much. All right, that may be a clue to what's going on. So just notice if you find one side way more sensitive than the other, there could be a little bit of a clue. Like here, immediately, I know that there is stuff happening there's things living in there, <laughs> mostly tension and tightness and scar tissue. All right, so I'm going to take a deep breath. Exhale it out. Once again, if this is, configuration is not comfortable for you, find a pillow, find another block to rest your head on, release that bottom arm if you need it. And we're going to start to work on maybe opening that top side a little more, reaching arm up and over. And then if you'd like to drop your head, let your head rest towards your bicep or on a pillow. So I want you to take big, deep breaths. Now you can also, I didn't remind you on the other side, but we can also roll a little bit since we're not rolling up and down, going, you know, toward our head and toward our feet. We can go side to side a little. So if you want to just kind of roll just a little bit side to side and see where you might have additional information stored, <clears throat> take that opportunity. And then get ready as you bring that top hand back to the floor, gently pressing yourself up and rising all the way up and we're going to take that block and we're going to turn it so it's going to stay toward the, the back of your mat. <clears throat> and then the other block is going to go like a T. You're going to take about a space between your, about the space of your hand that's spread out, kind of just very casually spread the fingers. And about that space from pinky to thumb is going to be about where your neck will be. Okay, so you've got this for your head and this goes between your shoulder blades. Now you can keep your blanket underneath you if you feel like you might need a little extra lift for your hips or you can take that out completely. Okay. So I'm going to take the feet to the floor to start. This is going to line up under your spine between your shoulder blades, not up here up to your neck. All right, so it's not going to go way up there. It's going to go in between your shoulder blades with maybe about say an inch or two of space above it before it gets to your neck. So you can reach back and just kind of feel, you don't want it on that bony process right here. We want it down lower, about an inch or two below your neckline. Okay, so you have to kind of judge this for yourself. We're gonna lean back and it's gonna hit right about at the very bottom of your rib cage and then right in between your shoulder blades as you rest your head right on that other block. Arms are coming out to the side. I want you to pick up your hips a little bit and draw your tail to the, not so tucking your tail, but just let your tail kind of uncurl from underneath you. Okay. I'm taking a deep breath. Bring your hands just right beside your head again. So you've got that free space underneath you where your neck is, like cervical spine. Okay. So just rest your fingertips. You can even interlace the fingers a little here. I want you to pull your rib cage down so we're not overarching. Exhale, let the elbows open and kind of squeeze that shoulder blade or shoulder blades into your block. Take another breath. Exhale. Squeeze shoulder blades without overarching in your ribs. So meaning try not to really arc it up. I want you to push down into it a little bit and then breathe in. 
exhale like you could squeeze the shoulder blades into your block two more breaths keep the low back relaxed Your next option is to straighten both legs. See how it feels. If that's uncomfortable, keep the knees bent. And we can take the arms out and just reach out, kind of like the letter Y. Okay. So reach slightly up above shoulder line. See how it feels. Every exhale, just keep your elbows soft. Let the chest open. Now from here, bring your arms down just slightly below your shoulder line. We're going to go back to that big hug. So if you want your feet to be planted, feel free to do so. Okay, we're going back to that big hug, right arm on top, left arm underneath, and just give yourself a hug and pull the shoulder blades apart. Now, if you feel inclined to wrap your hands, you can take your left hand around your right wrist into eagle arms. And then let those arms rise up, elbows together, big hug or eagle wrap. Take another breath. Unwind the arms, open up. And then switch arms, left arm on top, right arm underneath, big hug and lift the elbow slightly or go ahead and move back into that eagle arm wrap, letting your, fore or your hands rest on your forehead. Taking one more full breath here. Release the arms, open up. I want you just to keep the knees bent, feet on the floor, and rock yourself over to one side very gently. So make it your best side. Okay. Rocking over. And then we're going to just take those blocks and set them off to the side. Rolling all the way back. If you've got anything under your hips, go ahead and remove that or spread it out so that you're not going to be completely kind of off off-centered here. Okay. We'll draw the knees up into the chest. Give them a nice hug. Rocking around just side to side. Taking right knee in toward chest, left leg down. Let's take another twist as arms are out. Right shoulder will be anchored as you rock yourself over to the left with that right knee. Back to center, deep breath in, switch sides. Right leg down, left knee up and twisting to the right. And then back to center one more time. So take a big full body stretch, pause. Pushing out through the feet, through the hands. Circling the wrists and the ankles as you start to release your arms down by your sides, palms facing up, feet about the distance of your mat, shoulders relaxed, face relaxed, softening muscles in the jaw, the tongue suspended, breath is long, shoulders just kind of gently pressing back into the mat, letting your rib cage fall. Low back soft. Let the breath fill all the way from the soles of your feet to the crown of your head. Slowly exhaling out. Taking an opportunity while you're here, just a moment of gratitude for your movements, for your breath, and for your ability to show up today. As you start to wiggle the fingers and the toes gently, 
and start to slide your feet one at a time onto the mat, knees bent. Let's take a full stretch of the upper body, reaching overhead like you're just waking up first thing in the morning. And then exhale, shifting your hips over slightly as you rock to one side. Resting here, taking your top hand for support, straightening that top leg and take a deep breath in before you move. With your exhale, leave behind anything that's not gonna serve you, thoughts, ideas, actions, words, movements, whatever it is, and come back up and we'll take with us what's good, what's useful and what's helpful to get us down our path today. And as you take that moment to get settled again, eyes closed or heavy, sweep the arms up. Let the hands meet at center, coming right down to the heart bowing to your own inner wisdom, your own inner truth. I want you to place the hands toward the heart, just opening them up towards your heart space. And you can even press into the chest. Feel that connection. And then as we bring the hands back together and then open them out with thumbs together and just share that same connection with others today and knowing that every movement, every breath, every thought, every word is gonna come from that center. So thank you for being here today. Namaste.